The backlash is real, ladies, and it has some big chains rethinking their strategy. For example, British supermarket chain Booths is getting rid of all their self-serve checkouts, and major retailers including Walmart and Costco are rethinking their self-scan options. Some of the reasoning include how the machines and customers handle loose items like fruit, and the constant need for human supervision. And then there's theft. A recent study suggests that the loss rate for stores with self-checkout is 4%, which is over double the industry average. In other news, the U.S. Supreme Court has come up with a code of conduct. This comes in the wake of the controversy surrounding Justice Clarence Thomas and his relationship with a conservative activist slash donor. Justices Alito and Gorsuch have also been under fire for their interactions with wealthy donors who have had matters before the court. As for the code itself, Many legal scholars are calling it a positive step, but have also noted that as of now, there are no means for enforcement. And anyone who said collecting stamps was a waste of time, listen up. A 105-year-old stamp just sold for over $2 million. That's the most ever paid for a U.S. stamp sold at auction. The stamp in question was a mint condition inverted Jenny, the famously misprinted stamp from 1918 with the upside down plane. The buyer has been identified as 76-year-old real estate developer Charles Hack. So if you get a letter from him anytime soon, hold on to it. That's your first look at me and the news. Don't go away.